In Dustin Nunkester's son died from a prescription pill overdose. He made a certain promise to his son. Today, he revealed he's one step closer to fulfilling that promise. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on Nunkester's plan to make sure others don't go through the loss he did. When Brady passed away, um, I made a promise to him that I would do everything that I could to bring prescription drug awareness not only to our community, but as far as I could reach. 19-year-old Brady Noonkester was pronounced dead at the scene. Deputies say they believe no foul play was involved. What killed Dustin Noonkester's son Brady was prescription pills. Noonkester became one step closer to bringing Brady's story to the masses, his promise to his son, by premiering a documentary called When You Say Nothing. People will see on this is um, they will get two parts. They'll get one part of what happens when you say nothing, but they'll also get a part of what happens when somebody stands up and says something. The difference between the two scenarios could be life and death. The Carroll County father started Brady's Hope after his son's death. The organization helped support a drug-free community. He says he had no idea Brady was using drugs and wishes someone had said something. A lot of teenagers, they don't want to say anything. Um, they're afraid that their friends won't like them anymore or they're, or they're going to get somebody in trouble. Law enforcement, EMTs, pharmacists, and Brady's family and friends took part in the documentary. JP Video Production produced the video and West Lafayette author Jen Tucker wrote the script. Nunkester says if he saw something like the documentary before, his life may have been different. Different. I often say I wish that I would have found a Brady's Hope um, six months prior to my son passing away. Um, would have it changed anything? Um, I don't know, but I sure would love to rewind time and, and find out. Now Noonkester wants everyone who can to see the film. He is trying to get the documentary into classrooms around the country. For more information on how you can see the film, visit WLFI.com. In Carroll County, Kelly Roberts, News 18.